Okay, Habib hasn't joined the class yet, no? It's already six minutes into the class. <clears throat> Sumiya, uh, are you back in the class? Do let me know if really, when you will be back in the class. Yes, Sumi, are you there in the class? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's continue from where we left. In the previous class, we were learning about the divisibility rules, right now. So we will revise that and then we're going to begin with the next topic in today's class, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is Habib absent? Your Habib is absent right now. Maybe he will join in a few minutes. Okay, now let's continue. In the previous class, uh, Sumia, we were learning about the divisibility rules. So they, we learned uh, the divisibility rule uh, of 2, 3, and 4. Okay, now? So I'm going to give some questions to you. Do some questions, and then we are going to continue further. All right? Okay. So using the divisibility ability rule find out which numbers are divisible by Sir, two, question. yeah two three and four respectively i'm writing down some numbers you have to tell me which one of them is divisible by two three and four it's, you're having some network issue kindly check it if it's proper the number is 39 then the next number is 36 868 64 864 then take the number Seven one four seven hundred and fourteen. Okay, so you have to tell me which of the numbers will be divisible by two, which numbers will be divisible by two, which numbers will be divisible by three, and which number or numbers will be divisible by four. Okay, better now. So do this question using the divisibility rule. Find out which are which numbers are divisible by two, three, and four respectively. Okay. Also, if we will not be continuing today, so thereby we'll be doing the chapter fraction and we'll be uh, revising the chapter geometry for you if possible. Okay. Okay. If if you will be absent today, okay. Sir, like, uh, if Habib is not coming, uh, can we do the uh, geometry? Okay, you'd like to do geometry? Not like, not like the topic, the exam topic is geometry. Yeah, I, I understood that. So we can do that. Okay, no? Actually, your exam is on 14th of October. His exam is earlier. So thereby, we were trying to cover his syllabus quickly. Okay, no? Anyways, yeah, do this question quickly. The what is the question? Question is no, Sumaya, that find out which numbers are divisible by 2, 3, and 4. So the numbers are 39, 36, 864, 714. Out of these numbers, which one of them, which one of these will be divisible by 2? And which one of these will be divisible by 3 and 4 respectively? Okay. <laughs> 
By the way, when is your science exams, Maya? I don't have any science. I don't do science. Too. Okay. There's another girl named Sumaya. She doesn't. There is. There's another girl named Sumaya. She does science and math. Okay. Yes, Sumaya, tell me which numbers are divisible by two out of the given Eight. numbers. Okay. You can take the help from the above. Uh, uh, from here, you can take the help. A number that is having 0, 2, 4, and 4, 6, and 8 in the last digit. So that number will be divisible by 2. So you can take help of these hints here. Sir, I found uh, all of them are divisible by two. All of them are divisible by two. Yes. How is how is thirty nine divisible by two? How is thirty nine divisible by two? No, no, it's thirty nine. No, uh, numbers like thirty six. Repeat again. Eight hundred and sixty four uh, and seven hundred and fourteen are divisible. Uh, very good, very good. Okay, then for three. Wait, I'm going. Okay. Sumaya, on a daily basis, how many questions do you practice from mathematics? Math? Yeah, from maths, how many questions do you practice on a daily basis? On daily, I could do only two, three, because sometimes we go outside or I have hmm. more other classes. What other I'm classes? What other classes do you attend uh, uh, apart from the, the maths class? class. The Quranic class. classes. Okay, and. Only that, after Anita. that, uh, sometimes we go outside and then uh, no, normally I come back from school at 3 o'clock, then while eating and everything, it will be 4. Then at 5 o'clock, uh, mm -hmm. I'll do this uh, science, there's a science, uh, some homeworks, whatever we have, I'll do that. Okay. And then we have class. Seven. Do you take science class also for learning view? Do you no, take science? No. Take only mathematics. Yes. Okay. And for Quran, for learning Quran, the teacher comes at home or do you go to somewhere? No, it's online. It's online. Okay. At eight forty-five. At eight forty-five. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Uh, I would recommend you. Like, uh, it is important that you do at least ten questions from mathematics on a daily basis. Okay. No. Okay. Also, so, uh, I. Uh, I didn't understand of the. Like what is divisible like? What do we what? have to do in there? What do we have to do? In there. Uh, repeat again. I didn't heard it properly. Repeat what you were saying. What do we have to do for the third one? Okay, for the number three here, no. Okay, yes. read the rule. What does the rule says? Um, of the digit, uh, digit should be divisible by three. So what do we have to do? In there? To find the sum of the digits, now like three plus nine, it is twelve. So is 12 divisible by 3? If yes, then 39 will also be divisible. 
Just to divide? No, no, read the rule. What does the rule say? Say, read this first of all. Read this. Oh, 30. Oh, yeah. 12 is divisible by 3. Yeah. 3, 4 is up 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. So here you have to solve it in this manner. For example, for 3, as the rule says that, you like if the sum of digit is divisible by 3, like 3 plus 9, 3 plus 9 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 3, so thereby, yes, 39 is also divisible by 3. Got this, one, Sumaya? Yes. Okay. Same thing you will be doing for 36 also. Do this quickly. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Or it is divisible because uh, hmm. 3 3 is a 9. 3 plus 6 or 9. Good. 3 plus 6 is 9, then 3 is a 9. So it's 9 is divisible. Well done. What about 864? 8. 8. Yeah. Yes. Simply find the sum now. 8 plus 6 plus 4. How much is it equal to? 8 plus? 864. Find the sum of the digits now. 8 plus 6 plus 4. That is equal to? We have to add them all. Yeah, we have to add them now. Like in no number, how like many digits are bigger, there? Uh, for bigger numbers, we have any, with any number that yeah. is bigger. Like three digits, we could do mm -hmm. that. Exactly. Whether the number has three digits, whether it has four, five, six, ten, twenty, no matter the number of digits, simply add them. Okay, now? So the rule is applicable for the bigger numbers also, for the larger numbers also. Yeah. Do this quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, Sumeya, tell me that why you are not uploading the assignments? Sir, I'm done with the yesterday assignment. I'll send after class. See, for the previous in the previous classes, also you have said the same thing to me, Sumaya. You said that. No, 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 for the previous one, I'll send it. Yesterday, okay. I have to send. For the previous one, I send it to Learning Room. No, no. She send it. No, no. In fact, in fact, you know, Sumaya, I haven't received a single assignment from you. Wait, I'll... Okay. Since the beginning of the class, I haven't got a single assignment from you. Sumia, where did you go? Sir, my mom's busy right now. Yes? My mom is busy right now. Okay, okay. Ask her later about this. Okay, no? Okay. Oh, yeah. Do okay. this question quickly. Do this question quickly. You have, you have to... Sir, uh, hmm. it, it is divisible. Uh, because the sum is? The sum is, uh, wait, uh, 8 plus 6 plus, uh, 8 plus 6 plus 4 is 18. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, do for the next one. So 18 is divisible by 3, hence 864 is also divisible by 3. Okay, 714. Add the digits quickly. Yes. Yes, sir, it is divisible. Mm. Because the sum is 12 and 12 is divisible. 
Okay. Yes. So for three, all the numbers are divisible now. Thirty-nine is divisible. Thirty-six, eight, sixty-four, and seven hundred and fourteen. All of them are divisible. Okay. Now for the number four, quickly do this one also. What does the rule says? The last two-digit number should be divisible, or either the last two digits should be double zeros. Okay, now that's what the rule for the divisibility rule for four says. The either the last two-digit number should be two zeros. Or the last two digit number like here, this number is a forty eight. Okay, now so forty eight is divisible by four, hence the whole number is divisible by four. Like the last two digits should be divisible by four. Hmm. Last two digit number should be divisible by and four. And what about the two digits? Yeah, you know, like two digit has only two digits, so just check the whole number. Read the table of four. If it comes, okay, the number is divisible. Or divisible. Otherwise, it's not. Okay, sir. <clears throat> okay, Sumya. Is thirty nine divisible by four? No. No. Thirty six. Yes, it is because it yes. comes in uh, the table. Four. Good. Good. Sixty four of eight hundred and sixty four. Wait, I'm checking. Okay. I'm looking at the tables. I'm counting. See, see, which two numbers you have to look at? Tell me which two numbers you have to look at in eight hundred and sixty four. The last two digits. Ah, oh, that is sixty-four. Huh. So read the table, whether this sixty-four comes in it or not, whether it be, it will be divisible by four or not. I know the sixteen table. Yeah, read the table of sixteen. It it comes. It comes now. It comes. Very good. Yes. Okay now. So there were. It is divisible now. Very good. Okay. What about seven hundred and fourteen? Seven hundred and fourteen. Yes, fourteen. Hmm. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, fourteen. No, fourteen does not come. Fourteen does not come. No. Does so, not come. So there were. It is not divisible. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's continue further. We are going to learn about few other uh, divisibility rules. Okay. Now. So we did learn till four. We are going to learn about the five. So the divisibility rule of five is very simple. It's very simple. Okay, now it which basically says that a number is divisible by five if its last digit is either zero or five. So a number is divisible by five if its last digit is either zero or five. Got this now? You can take the screenshots uh, of this today. Okay, now no need to write it down. If you can take the screenshot, just take it, because uh, okay. I want to uh, want to revise the chapter uh, geometry for you. Okay, now for six, okay. the rule says that a number will be divisible by six if it is divisible by both two and three. A number is divisible. Hey, what was about the fifth one? For fifth, it is that a number is divisible by five. It's If its last digit is either zero or five, for example, we have five hundred and fifty. The last digit is zero, so thereby the complete number is divisible by five. It's divisible. Or like you have five hundred and thirty-five. Last digit is five, so thereby the complete number five thirty-five is divisible by five. Now for the in the case of six, now it says that a number is divisible by six if its last digit. I mean to say, if it is divisible by both two and three, the number is divisible by six. If It is divisible by both two and three. Take for example, you have the case of let's say, um, let's say sixty-six. So sixty-six is it divisible by two? Yeah, it is divisible by two now. Yes. Sixty-six yeah. is it divisible by three? Of course, it is divisible by three now. Six plus six is twelve. Twelve is divisible by three, so hence the number sixty-six is also divisible by three. So since this number is divisible by both two and three, 
so thereby it will be divisible by six also. That is the rule. Okay, now. Yes. Now take the case of the number seven. For seven, it is quite interesting. Okay, now. For in order to check whether the number is divisible by seven, uh, seven or not. Okay, now we are going to multiply the last two digit number by two. Okay. For seven. Yes. So divisibility rule of seven says that you are going to first of all uh, take. Let us take an example. With the help of an example, you will understand this. Okay, now let us yes. say that you have the number twenty four hundred and fifty five is the number, and we are going to check if it is divisible by seven or not. So what you are going to do, you are going to let us circle the last digit number. Let, let us take the last digit number and multiply it by two. Yes. Multiply last digit by two. Okay, I'm writing in short here. Okay, so you will be getting ten. Yeah, yes. good. Okay, now then subtract whatever number is left. Now two forty five is left. So subtract ten from it. Two five so ten and subtract ten from the remaining number here. Two forty five. Uh, two like the remaining three or two numbers you have to subtract it. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Okay, now so first you have removed two, the two thirty five. Yeah. Exactly. So we have removed the last digit number that is five here. In this case, it was five. We have removed this and we have doubled it by multiplying it with two. For now every number we have to multiply it by two. Exactly. So whatever the number is, you have to do the same thing. The rule is applicable for every number. So you have doubled so it. You, uh, after the seven, can you give me one a question of the seven? Sure, I will be giving you a question. Sure. Then subtract it from the remaining number. What is the remaining number? Out of twenty four hundred and fifty five, remaining number is two forty five. So from two forty five, subtract ten. So you are getting two thirty five here. Okay, now good. So now the remainder is this is two thirty five a multiple of seven. So right now we are unsure about it now, like two hundred and thirty-five. Is it a multiple of seven? Right now, let's say we are unsure. We are not sure about it if it is a um, multiple of seven or not. So let's mul uh, let's continue continue the step. Getting it now, Sumaya. So again, yes. take the last digit five and again multiply it by two. Okay now. By two. Yeah, multiply by two again. And so, it will be ten, so we have to minus ten again. Minus ten from twenty three now. Twenty three. Oh, cos five is gone. Exactly. So we will be having left with three now. Yes. We are left with thirteen. I mean to say. Yes. Now the question is that earlier we were having two thirty five, a bigger number, so we are unsure about it. Okay, now like we have to do a long calculation to uh see whether this is divisible by. Uh, uh, whether it is a multiple of seven or not. Well, so I we just one minute. Let us okay. first understand this. Then you can write this now. Huh? Yeah, okay. So now we continued the process. So we got thirteen. Now the number thirteen is it divis? Is it a multiple of seven? Fourteen. Thirteen. No, thirteen. Oh, no. Of course, no. No. So no, it is not. Because thirteen twos are fourteen, so there's no thirteen. Exactly. It is not a multiple. I mean, so seven thereby, twos are forty. Hmm. So there is no thirteen. So it is not a multiple. So thereby, the number twenty four hundred and fifty five is not divisible by seven. Getting it now? Okay. Hmm. Yes. But it had it had our remainder be like this. If instead of thirteen, let's say you were getting zero or seven, no, then yes. Or let 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 us say fourteen, twenty one. Twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-nine, sixty-three, like that. Then it would have been divisible by seven. Hope you are able to understand this thing. Yes. Okay, no. <clears throat> Very good. So that is the thing. Let me just write down the steps quickly for you. Okay, now I'm going to write down the steps. You can just take the screenshot or note it down, however you'd like to do I'm it. I'm writing. Okay. So step number one is that. Remove the last digit. In step number two, we have to double it. 
डबल इट बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ टू थर्ड स्टेप इज स्टार्ट सब्सट्रैक्ट स्टेप थ्री सब्सट्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम रिमेनिंग नंबर सब्सट्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम रिमेनिंग नंबर देन स्टेप नंबर फोर यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व दैट इफ द रिमेंडर इज आदर जीरो और आदर अ मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवन देन द नंबर इज डिविजल बाई सेवन ओके वेट ए मिनट वट जस्ट है Okay, just one minute. Sir, I write that example. The one that is written in black. Just give me a minute. Or let me. Okay, now better. Yes. It's back now. Sir, I'm done writing. Okay, just let me write one more important thing is left. So subtract it from remaining number. Step number four says that. If the remainder, like whatever number you are getting over here, like here you got thirteen. So if the remainder is zero or a multiple of seven, then the number is divisible by seven. Then the number is divisible by seven. Did you understood this whole statement, this whole procedure? Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh, Can let's do. Can I give do... you one question? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, I'm going to give one question to you. Okay, now. So okay. take for example. Take the number two, three, five, nine, twenty-three hundred and fifty-nine. You have to check whether this number is divisible by seven or not. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Do it as quickly as possible. Uh, by the way, uh, Sumiya, have you got worksheets from the chapter geometry? Did your teacher share some worksheets from geometry? Uh, of what? From geometry, geometry, like the types of angles, measurement of angle, drawing the angle using a protector. So, like for fraction, you did share some worksheets. There's with a me. PPT. There's a PPT. Okay, can you share it right now in the class? Right now. Yeah, if if it will be possible. Okay. 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 Meanwhile, do the question. Yeah. Okay. After question, I'll. Do. After question, yeah. Do the question first. So it is not divisible. It is not divisible. Yes. Okay. Can you show me the steps you have followed? Like, uh, my camera is not working. Can I see? Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see then. I uh, first uh, took the last digit nine, hmm. and then multiplied it by two. Okay. Then. Then the answer was eighty. Okay. Then what you did? So I subtracted. So I subtracted two thirty five by eighty. You subtracted eighteen from thirty five. Say the statement correctly. Okay, I na? subtract eighteen from twenty. Hmm. Then. Then uh wait yeah wait wait. So the answer wait I did some calculation here for one second. One. Two eighteen. 
What are you getting after subtracting 18, 18 from? 218. Yes. That's the problem, no? Your calculation is weak here. Well, that's the problem here, Sumaya. See, this is such a basic mistake you have done. Uh, 8 will be subtracted from 15. You will borrow 1 from 3. 15 minus 8 is? 15 minus 8 is how much? It is 28. 15 minus 8. 15 minus hmm. 8. That is how much? 8. 8, how can it be 8? It's 7 now. See, we're doing a basic mistake here, no? Such a basic mistake you're doing here. 15 minus 8 is 7, not 8. Okay, Sumaya. Okay. Hmm. Then you have 2 left. Two is left here. 2 minus 1 is 1. And they were right down 2 here. Okay, now 217 is left here. Okay, is 217. Uh, right now, we are still not, we are still unsure about it. Whether it is a multiple of 7 or not. Okay, now are you sure about left it? Two. Hmm. No. Left 2 multiply 7 by 2. Again, we are going to do the same mistake. So it is equals to 14. Hmm. 14. Then we are going now to... Left to minus... Uh, wait. Wait. Hmm. Minus 14 minus from this. 14 hmm. by 20. 14 by 21. Not by. From 21. From 20. So you are getting 7. Okay. Yes. What did the step rule say? If the remainder is 0 or a multiple of 7. So 7 is a multiple of 7. 7 ones are 7. Yes. Right? So the remainder is a satisfactory value. We have got 7. So thereby the number is divisible by 7 or not? This number? It is. It is now? Okay. Yes. Now you have understood this now? Good. Yes. But I am very disappointed to see that you are doing such a basic mistake in this. In this subtraction. Because of this basic mistake, your whole answer was uh, wrong. Okay, so may you be careful with this subtraction and multiplication addition things. Okay. Okay, let us quickly learn about some other divisibility rules can also. We do the geometry? Uh, okay, let's do one thing. We can skip for now. We can continue the divisibility rule for 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 in the next class. Okay, let's do the geometry okay. then. And uh, Wait, sir, I have to take a photo. Oh, yeah. Just take it. Okay, done. Done. Take this one. Uh, okay, nothing to be in this one. Okay, but you can take this one also. Uh, okay. Done. Done? Good. Okay, I will be resharing my screen in a minute. Okay, now give me a minute and then we are going to continue. Meanwhile, you tell me what did you have studied in the chapter geometry in, in the school? What what are the things okay, which you learned? And okay, but Mesonics before that, and... okay, okay. But before that, uh, you must have learned we about. Have, we have learned about angles and everything. Angles. Good, good. And what is angles and what is right angle and what is uh mm -hmm. complement angle supplementary complementary angle, supplementary angle. Oh, you must have had learned about the acute Straight angles. Angle. Straight acute angles. And obtuse. Obtuse angles. Okay. Can you define obtuse angle? What is an obtuse angle? Uh, obtuse angle is a uh, more than 90 degrees. But? But? But it has to be less than it, 180. It has to be less than one, uh, 180. Okay, okay. I will be sharing my screen. Actually, I have to clean the overwritings from the previous classes. Okay, now? So that without any uh, interruption, we can have the class. Okay, but uh, a very basic question. Before we discuss about the different type of angles, what do you understand by angles? What are angles? I don't understand the question. How do we define an angle? What do you mean by angle? When is an angle formed? Like what is an angle? Yeah, that's what my question is. 
like you know like those type of lines of, 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 for measuring and everything oh, there is yeah so, you see it helps and it uh, helps us in taking measurement of different things yeah measurement of different things but what exactly is angle like how do we define an angle that is my question that is my what my question is okay no issues let us continue i'm going to share my screen and then we are going to continue before we continue with the uh, different topics like uh, angles different type of angles there are a few basic terminologies which you need to understand first okay now like in the chapter basic geometrical concepts yes. we are going to learn about first of all like what is geometry okay now what geometry what is the meaning of this topic so mathematics has different branches okay now it has different branches in it okay yes. so geometry is one of the branch of the like algebra is a branch of mathematics trigonometry is a branch of mathematics so is geometry so it's the branch of mathematics that focuses on the measurement and relationship of lines angles surfaces solids and point so we'll be measuring the line in, we study about the measurement of the line measurement of angles surfaces surface area solids uh, different types of solids we study about 2d solids 3d solids we study about what is point what is line segment okay na what is the volume so all those things are studied in geometry okay na we study about geometry yes. now historically so many scientists have had contribution in the field of geometry historically so many scientists have had contribution in this we're getting it now like for example uh, also geometry helps us in the construction of buildings in the construction of ships different machines etc okay now so geometry is really helpful it plays a crucial role a very important role in the construction of buildings construction of ships and various machines by providing the uh, mathematical calculations that will help us in accurately designing the shapes of different objects accurately uh, ac uh, like um, accurately for example let us say that see that right uh, see that i'm trying to uh, make a building okay now i'm trying to make a building building and that building has to be straight i want that building to be straight it should not be tilted like this getting it now it should not be hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. So we have to take the measure. We have to raise the walls at ninety degree angle now, at an degree. angle of ninety degree. So then the walls are going to be straight. Yes. So thereby we'll be using some tools, using the help of some tools, we'll be able to. Uh, Is it uh, right raise... angle? Right angle, exactly. So their geometry is helping you in construction of the buildings. Without the without geometry, the buildings would be tilted. and the buildings might collapse it might fall so in yes. architecture it is important engineers will be relying upon all these things to create the structure create the designs of the buildings and create the buildings that are stable okay na no? that is one thing okay furthermore uh, in the in, like in the field of like in the in the field of engineering in order to design different structures we will be taking help of uh geometry there okay no so geometry is a very crucial uh subject that helps us in construction of buildings ships and various machines by providing us with mathematical foundation for designing and accurately measuring measuring the shapes size angle of the give, uh, give of the different structures okay so few fundamental things which we have to study in the chapter is like point so we are going to start our discussion with point first of all okay now then we would be learning about other things in the class yes just one minute okay 
गिव द टॉपिक पॉइंट ठीक है सो पॉइंट बेसिकली लाइक ऑन अ प्लेन अ पॉइंट इज बेसिकली पार्टिकुलर एरिया और पोजिशन एंड यूजली विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डॉट वी रिप्रेजेंट अ पॉइंट ओके ना लाइक यू हैव अ प्लेन शीट ऑफ पेपर and you mark a dot on this you mark a dot on this yes so that will be basically called as point so we'll be representing yes. this with the help of a dot with the help of a dot we represent this and that is basically the point represented by a dot so what information does this point provide us it provides us information of a particular position on this sheet of position. paper okay na it has a unique position if there were to be a different dot if i were to draw one more dot so will that dot also be having the same position no yes no no this dot has a different position na is that the the other dot is in the center and the other one yeah it's below the yeah. central dot okay na yes. so point has a specific location okay na it has just a loca specific location but if i were to talk about does it have any dimension like does it have any thickness does it have any length breadth so no okay no, it doesn't have like you can take a sheet of a4 sheet you can take a sheet of paper and if you were to just mark a dot on it will you be able to measure its length breadth or height no. or any other thing no, no. okay no so it just tells you information of a given location but it doesn't not have any dimension ideally it does not have any dimension okay no Yes. Okay, so let us define this. So on a plane, a point is a particular area or position. Position. Further, we learned in this that a point is a dot will be representing a point. So a dot. represents the point that is something which we have learned further we learned that um, that point is not an object but it's just a position is it an object no no it okay. is not it is not an just object right now so just tells us in uh, location okay so further i say that ideally it doesn't have does not have any dimension dimension means the length breadth or height of a given object okay so it doesn't have any length breadth or height that is all about the point if any question in this please let me know otherwise we'll be moving to the next topic okay wait first time okay A point locates the area, right? Yeah, it locates a uh, it locates particular position or particular area on a given uh, plane. Okay, na? Like, what is it used for? It is used to it is used to locate a given area or given location on a given plane. Okay, na? Okay. Getting it? Na? It's basically okay. used to find the location. Like, for example, when you open the Google Map. we will be opening the google map so you have let's say searched for the location for your school for your for the office or somewhere so that location of the school on the map will be marked using a point now red dot yeah yeah red dot right now so yeah. that is the use of the point it tells the location of a, any given area yes further we done okay further we also learn that it has no size or no width or no width no width no length or height so we did learned about these things also okay now in order to locate a point on a given sheet of paper like how are we going and to locate Length and no, so that, right? Dimension basically refers to length, breadth, and height. 
ओके ना ओके ना फर्दर विल बी लर्निंग दैट वी रिप्रेजेंट पॉइंट एज फॉलोज so take again let us take a sheet of paper so here let us see that they are different points like this this point this point and this point so we can simply represent them by any alphabetical letters like point a this is point b and this is point c getting it now so that is how we'll be representing the point on a sheet of paper so that is point a point b and point c respectively Understood this now? Yes. Okay. Next, give the topic collinear points. Which is points. the point? One? Which is the point? Point A, no, like the the green dot here I have drawn. How would we understand? Like just. Repeat again, Sumiya. How would we understand it? How would we understand it? I'm seeing like, that there is no point in there. Like there is no A or B. Okay. How do we we have I have randomly named this. You can name them as point M, point X, point Y, point Z. Any name you can give it. Okay, now let's just say there are three different points on a given sheet of paper. So we can name them with the help with uh, with any alphabetical orders. We can name them. Point A, whatever you wish, you can name them. But all of them are having unique locations. No, they are different points at different. Positions, so yes. they can't be named with the same letter. You can't name this as point A, and you can't name this one also as point A. I mean to say, one of them has to be different from the other one. They have to be have. They need to have different names. Okay, na. Yes. Otherwise, if it were to be like this, is also point A. And if I were to ask you, Sumiya, tell me where is point A? Will you be able to tell me exactly where point A is? No. No, no. So they have separate names, unique names. Okay. Next, give the topic collinear points. Have you learned of about collinear points in the school? No, not collinear points. Only point and angle, I guess. Okay, okay. Let's again take a sheet of paper, and this time, we are collinear points. Collinear points. C O double -L, L I N E A R. Collinear Pay attention points. here. We have three points in such a manner that we can. Construct a line from a uh, line passing through them. Getting it now? Yes. Collinear points are basically like there are three or more than three points that are lying on a same straight line. Okay, now you would have learned about the straight line. Yes. So they are lying on a straight line like this. Okay, now so that is what collinear points are. They are if three or more than three points would be lying on the same line. I mean to say, if three or more than three points are lying on the same straight line, same so, straight. Hmm. Like so thereby straight. they will be called as collinear points. Okay, now, like the term collinear, now it comes oh, from the Latin three, word. Oh, if there is any dots that, if there is any dots that are in a straight line, it's called collinear points. Exactly, but it has to be three or more than three points. Okay, now. Three or more than three. What yeah. if it's two? Then it will not be called. Okay, no. Okay. It has to be at least three. By the way, the word collinear it comes from the Latin word col and linear. It has been derived from the Latin word col and linear. The word col in Latin means means uh together. What does it mean? Together. Together, together, and the okay. linear here and and basically here the linear mean would be meaning the in the same line. Linear means. Line. In the, the same line. Same line. In the same. So together, what is it means? It's the together in the same line. Call together means together. Linear means in the same line. So together in the same line. Okay, now call linear means together in the same line. Understood this now. So let me write the definition as well. If three or or more than three points. Lies in the same straight line, same straight line. Then they are called collinear points. 
Okay, do let me know once you will be finished. Okay. By the way, in your Quran classes, which chapter are you learning right now? Quran? Like yeah. we, do, we read Quran. Okay, like uh, which chapter right now you are reading? Like, yeah. uh, seventh, like seventh chapter right now. Seventh chapter, okay, okay, good. I guess I'm in like uh, 240 pages or something. Okay, okay. How many chapters are there in the Quran, by the way? There is like a lot. There is about there is one hundred and fourteen chapters. Okay, no. One hundred and fourteen. One hundred and fourteen chapters are there. Okay. Okay. Anyways, write down write down this quickly. Done, sir. Done. Good. Yeah. So we did learn about point, okay? Okay, now let us learn about line, that what is a line, okay now? Okay. <laughs> so talking about line, when we look at a line, it doesn't have any thickness. Okay, no? Furthermore, a line is straight, meaning that it is not curved, it is not bent. And when we look at line, it will be going in both the directions endlessly. Okay, now without coming to an end, it will go in both the directions. Say, for example, if you were to take so many, so many points, okay, now let us say we have infinite number of points and all of them are lying next to each other like this yeah okay now so these are so many points and that are close to each other like this yes looking at it from a distance does it not look like a line yeah from a distance yeah when we observe it from a distance it looks like a line no yes from okay, far away but when we go yeah. close it will like up and down but when we zoom it, we see that there are really so many points that are connected to each other. Right now, there are so many points yes. that are connected to each other here. Okay. So line is an geometrical object that is straight and that is endless, meaning that it continues in this direction and it continues in this direction also. It does not have any end. Okay. Now further, it is very thin. Okay. Now, and it is straight. And it goes in both the directions without coming to an end. Okay. Also, it is important to note down that an, an infinite number of points comes together to form a line. So if you have, yeah. So if you, mm -hmm. so if you have infinite number of points and if you were to join them, thereby line will be formed now. Getting yes. it? That is the th case here. So what we have learned that a line is formed when we join infinite numbers of point. Okay, write down this much and we'll be continuing from the next class from this from here. Okay now. Okay. Also uh make sure to solve the uh, to do the assignments. And ask your mom yes. to share the assignments uh, if she hasn't. Okay. Hmm. Was I did the last assignment? Yeah, uh, like your mom might have forgotten to share it. So kindly ask her like you. Uh, so I'm going to read that. Read point one more time. A line is formed when we join infinite number of points. Infinite number of points. 